What's going on everybody? This is Ultima iDevice Vids and today in this video we're going to be checking out 30 free tweaks for iOS 11.3.1. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have Bye Bye HUD. This tweak will replace the volume pop-up that appears in the middle of the screen with a sleek indicator that's going to show up in the top of the screen in the status bar as you can see right here. So adjusting the volume will no longer interrupt what you're doing on your device. And of course you still get the indication, it's just much sleeker in the status bar. Now if you guys jump over to settings and head over to Bye Bye HUD, you can enable or disable a tweak in here and then you have choose view. And there's a few different styles. The minimal view is this one that you just saw with the percentage in the corner. Then there's a bar view that's going to look like this as you can see. And then there's slider view which is going to look just like this. You also have the slider view dismiss style. So the animation when it dismisses, you can see it's fade right now. You can have it go upwards as well. And it's just going to go ahead and fade up just like that. CC support gives you complete control over your control center in iOS 11. So normally you're only able to customize the bottom controls down here. You're not normally able to, you know, customize everything at the top, all the larger controls right here. However, this tweak allows you to do that. You could rearrange them and remove them. So if we go ahead and jump over to settings, control center, and customize controls, you'll notice that this tweak adds all the things that Apple normally doesn't allow you to control. For example, connectivity, which is the toggle section, media controls, orientation lock, do not disturb, brightness, volume, and screen mirroring. So we you can just go ahead and rearrange these options just like this immediately and as you can see right there it's going to go ahead and apply just like that we could uh let's just say move down media controls down here as well and you'll notice you'll see here it will apply again and this is not something we're normally able to do we could also remove things for instance let's just say we wanted to remove the media controls we could go ahead and do that also let's just say we wanted to remove volume and now as you can see it's going to apply just like that and if you wanted to add the things back that you removed you could just scroll down click on plus next to the items that you removed and then they'll go ahead and appear just like that. And you may have already noticed this, but this is a circle icons. As you can see, it's going to make the icons in the settings application circular just to kind of spice things up. And if we go into the settings for it, you could go into icon shape. And of course, you have the circle option and then default just with the rounded corners. It's also an option to completely remove all the icons from the settings if you want to go for a very bare bones look. Color My CC modules allows you to customize the color of the modules in the control center just like this. So it goes for a very clean look and it also looks good inside the expanded view for the different items as well as you can see right here. So again, just get a nice refreshed look of color in your control center. So to set it up, you just jump over to settings and then go into Color My CC modules. Then you can enable or disable the tweak and then you could choose the color here with the wheel. Just choose any color you want, you know, the sliders, everything like that. And then go ahead and respring to apply the changes. Now, I personally had to disable it and then enable it and then respring again in order to get this to work. So you might need to do that. Next up, we have Alkaline. This tweak allows you to theme your battery indicator in the status bar. As you can see right there, I have a theme applied right now. You can see basically how as the battery will go down in its level, you can see the indicator will adjust accordingly with these bars. And if we hop over to the settings for the tweak, there's a few different themes that it comes with. You can enable or disable the tweak and then go into theme. And you have this one right here, Habisha. And then there's also bolus and spots. And while we're on the topic of the status bar, here is Zeppelin. This tweak allows you to replace your carrier name in the upper left-hand corner with a logo of your choice. As you can see, I have the Apple logo there right now, and it just goes for a clean look. This tweak comes with many different logos. If you jump over to settings and then open up Zeppelin, you could go into enable or disable the tweak, and then you could go into theme. As you can see, there's tons of options in here to choose from just like this. Once you go ahead and change the logo, just make sure you respring your device to make sure the change is applied. Icon Renamer allows you to rename any application on your home screen. So how it works is you just go ahead and place your device into a wiggle mode like this and then go ahead and tap on any icon you want to rename. For example, I'm going to tap on the mail application here. And it's going to go ahead and give you this pop-up just like this. You can go ahead and type in any name you want. I'm just going to rename mail to email for whatever reason. Hit apply and just like that, as you can see, it will apply like that. Folder 6 Plus will allow you to have a 4x4 four four layout in your folder. As you can see right here, it's 4 icons by 4 icons going down. So you could fit more icons in each page in your folders with this tweak. Floaty Dock will bring the iPad Dock to your iPhone. So as you can see right here, we have the iPad Dock. We have the you know Dock, normal standard Dock applications on the left. And we have our recently used applications on the right. And if we go ahead and jump into an application, you could actually access the Dock within apps. You just slide up on, on either the left side or or the right side of the dock just like this and you can see you could access the dock you could also slide down to dismiss and the middle is reserved for the control center just like that but once you have the dock up you can go ahead and use it to switch between applications just like this that's a very good way to again switch between apps you could also enable the slide over and a split view feature with this as well so this is incredibly powerful you could multitask on your iphone with this for example let's just say i wanted to go ahead and drag up 
all these settings app. I can tap and hold on it, drag it up just like this, and it's going to pop over into the slide over just like this. So I can access this app uh, while inside of this application just like this. I can slide it back over just like that. Now, for in terms of the split view, it is possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to go into landscape here, bring up that dock, I'm going to drag up settings here. I'm just going to go ahead and pop it into the split view just like this. So again, you could turn your iPhone into a very powerful device with this tweak by having full split screen multitasking just like this. And this is all with floaty dock. Now, if you want the full split screen multitasking like I just showed you there, uh, you're going to want to make sure you jump into settings, go into the floaty dock settings, and then scroll down to the bottom and make sure you have slide over and split view enabled. Just toggle that on and then respring because it's not enabled by default. Simple LS iOS will give you a very simple look on the lock screen. As you can see right here, in terms of the date, the time, and the day of the week, it's just a much more visually simple interface. It's over to the left just like that. And I personally think it just looks much cleaner, much easier on the eyes. It takes up much less space. And to enable this tweak, you just jump into settings and then go into simple LS in the settings and just go ahead and toggle it on. And you can choose between default and simple. They just look slightly different. And also, by default, it's on 24-hour time. So if you don't want that, you can go into more. Or you change it from 24 to 12, which I personally did, and then just respring. Badge Customizer allows you to customize the color, size, and position of badges on app icons. So as you can see right there, on my, on my Messages application, I have a badge. However, it's purple. It's slightly larger than they normally are. And as opposed to being on the top right corner of the app, it's actually on the bottom left. And this is all with Badge Customizer. So if you jump over to Settings, you can go into Badge Customizer, Enable or Disable a Tweak. And again, there's tons of options in here pertaining to color, size, position, so you can configure it all to your liking and then respring. NC Squared will give your banner notifications and notifications in the Notification Center area a squared look that'll look just like this, just to kind of keep things fresh. And once again, it takes an effect for banners and in the Notification Center area right here, as you can see. Now in the settings, there's a few different options to configure, and there's actually a dark mode that I want to show you that is available. So we'll just go into NC Squared here. And again, there's some other options here, but I mainly just want to show you this dark theme because I think it looks really good. Then we're going to go ahead and respring. And as you can see right here, this is what the dark theme looks like, just like that. I think it looks really sleek. Same thing inside the notification center area right here. Next up, we have Dark Messages iOS 10. And even though this tweak does have iOS 10 in the name, it does work on iOS 11.3.1. This tweak provides your Messages application with a beautiful dark theme, as you can see. It looks great inside the conversation list view right here. Also inside conversations themselves, as you can see, just goes for a great look. Maybe you just prefer a dark theme, or it's, you know, you want to use your Messages application at night. It also looks great for basically the blue or green message bubbles, as you can see right there. Definitely fits in well with that nice dark theme. And here's yet another dark mode tweak. Uh, this one's called Blur. This tweak will bring the dark keyboard to any application on iOS. So whenever the keyboard pops up, it'll automatically appear in this dark theme. For instance, inside the notes application here, as you can see, it's just going to go ahead and use the dark keyboard, even though, again, normally in iOS, it would not appear dark in this instance. Uh, let's just try out the cal calendar application. You'll see it'll also appear dark in here, just like this. Next up, we have Cuttlefish. This tweak will change the blur of the screen when you 3D touch on an application to the color of that application's icon. So as you can see right there, when I 3D touch on the App Store, you can see the entire screen has a bluish tint because the App Store icon is blue. If I 3D touch on the iTunes Store, you can see it's going to be a pinkish tint because the icon is pink and so on. So again, just kind of themes, again, the screen to the color of the app that you 3D touch on. Delete Forever allows you to permanently delete photos with ease. So if I go ahead and jump into the Photos app here, open up a photo, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the trash icon here. Now, normally in iOS, you just have the delete photo icon. And if you tap on that, the photo will go into the recently deleted section. And then if you wanted to permanently delete the photo, you'd have to go into that section and clear it there. But th with this tweak, you get this new option called permanently delete photo. And this allows you to, again, permanently delete the photo. It will just, you know, permanently delete itself and it won't ever go into the recently deleted album. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on permanently delete photo. As you can see, it's gone now, and if I go ahead and go back, you can see recently deleted is completely empty. So that photo is permanently gone within one action. Next up, we have Delete Cut. This tweak will allow you to delete whole words using the iOS keyboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the Notes app here, 
And basically how this works is you go ahead and tap and hold on the shift button. And you can see right there, as you, as long as you hold the shift button, the delete key will turn red. And in this state, when the delete key is red, if I go ahead and tap on it, you'll notice that it's going to delete whole words at a time just like this. So again, it allows you to quickly delete entire words while you're in this state. And if I release, as you can see, it'll go back to normal and just deleting one letter at a time. Transparent Doc will make the dock on the home screen completely transparent, as you can see right here, so you can see right through to the wallpaper. It just goes for a very clean look on the home screen. We also have no page dot seven, which will remove the page dots indicator there. When you swipe pages, you can see there's no dots there indicating which page I'm on. Also just contributes to a cleaner look on the home screen. Flat Safari URL is a very simple tweak, but it just kind of makes things look a little bit cleaner inside the Safari application. Basically, in the address bar at the top, there's normally a little bit of kind of a grayish texture circle up here and as you can see that's completely removed now with this tweak so it just goes for a cleaner look up here you tap up there you can see you know everything will still highlight as you're normally used to but just that gray shade is gone color my battery allows you to tell the battery level of your device based on the color of the battery indicator in the status bar so we're just going to go ahead and jump into settings here we're going to jump into color my battery and in here you have many options you can enable or disable the tweak you could hide the battery percentage you could also change the low power mode color and the charging color but the main basically configuration here is the custom colors down here for the different battery levels so you can see there from zero to ten percent it's going to be this color eleven to twenty percent this color so when my device is at you know any of those percentages it's going to show the battery indicator in whichever color is set for that group of percentages so as you can see right there my battery is currently a bluish tint and it's 78 percent as you can see so you know as you would think from 71 to 80 you could see it's that same color right here and again you could change any of these colors to whatever you want now, in order for this tweak to really make sense, you'd probably want to hide the battery percentage. As you can see, there's an option up there to do that, just because if you have the color, you don't really need the percentage. I'm just going to go ahead and toggle that on. But I think this tweak's a really neat idea, being able to tell the percentage from a color. So we're just going to go ahead and respring, and you'll see the battery percentage will hide after I, you know, respring my device, as you can see just like that. And while we're on the lock screen here, this one's called Roman Passcode. As you can see right there, this tweak will change the passcode buttons to Roman numerals, just kind of goes for a classy look. Real CC will allow you to turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off completely right from the control center. So normally in iOS 11, when you go ahead and disable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth from the control center, it'll just temporarily disable them. It won't completely turn them off. But with this tweak, it will do so. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap to disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth here. You could see it completely turns them off. You could see by the line through them. And of course, it says off in here. And again, normally in iOS 11, it'll just temporarily disable them. So I'm just going to go ahead and re-enable them here. And we're going to jump over to settings. You can see they're both on here. And if I go ahead and go into the control center, and we're going to turn them off just like this. And now you can see they're completely off, not just temporarily disabled. Dismiss Anywhere allows you to tap anywhere in the empty area on your screen to dismiss a pop-up. You no longer have to tap on the cancel button. So, for instance, let's say I was going to delete the YouTube application. This is just an instance of a pop-up in iOS. As you can see right here, when I tap on the X, normally there's a cancel button and a delete button. But as you can see with this tweak, it completely hides the cancel button. And if I wanted to basically cancel or dismiss, I would just tap anywhere in the empty area like this, and it'll hide that just like that. So this works for any pop-ups in iOS. That was just one example. For example, let's just say inside the Safari application, if I go ahead and tap and hold on a link in Safari like this, you could see the cancel button is hidden from here as well. And if I wanted to dismiss, I just tap anywhere in the empty area and it dismisses just like that. So once again, this tweak hides the cancel button and allows you to dismiss any pop-up by tapping in the empty space. Now, the behavior of tapping on the empty space to dismiss a pop-up works in some instances in stock iOS, but this tweak makes it work in all instances and it will hide the cancel button. Smooth Cursor adds a very nice effect to the cursor in iOS when you're typing text and deleting text. So as you can see right there, when I go ahead and type, you can see the cursor there just glides very elegantly, basically, when I type. So uh, it's a very, very subtle effect, but I just think it adds a nice touch to iOS, and it just kind of smoothens things out a little bit. And once again, you can see it works for typing and for deleting text as well. So if I go ahead and start deleting text, you can see it's also smooth yeah, in this instance as well. Quick power mode allows you to enable or disable low power mode just by tapping on the battery indicator in the status bar, just like that. So it's that simple. You can see low power mode is enabled, and if I want to disable it, I just tap it again. It's disabled, and as you can see right there, the battery turns back to the normal color. So very easy way to enable and disable low power mode. Easy Swipe allows you to configure different actions to occur when you swipe down on different areas of your home screen. So basically, th this tweak splits it up into three parts. The middle of the screen is for the spotlight search, which is what happens normally in iOS. 
the left of the screen is for the notification center area slash lock screen, as you can see right there. So you swipe down, and it takes you right there just like that. And the right side is for the control center. So you, know, you can easily access these options just by swiping down on different areas of the home screen. Now, this is actually customizable. You could you know change these options around these three of them. You could swap those three functions to any of those three gestures. If you jump over to settings, then just open up Easy Swipe then go into either of these three options. So swipe down on left, center swipe action, and swipe down on right. And if you tap on any of these, you'll get the options here. Once again, the three options, the cover sheet, spotlight, control center, or just do nothing if you want to do that. No more app bar will hide the iMessage app bar that appears at the bottom of the messages application when you open up a conversation. So it just, again, completely hides that from showing up, as you can see right here. Hide settings search will completely hide the search option from the settings application. So if I jump into settings here, you can see at the top, there's normally a search option, but this tweet completely removes it just like that. Spot clear on close will basically clear any text that appears in the spotlight search as soon as you go ahead and tap on a result. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in settings here. I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the settings result here to take me to the settings app. So, you know, I go ahead and tap on a result from search. And now when I go back to search, normally in iOS, that text would still be there. But as you can see with this tweak, spot clear on close, it completely just clears the text as soon as I go ahead and tap on a result. So it just keeps your spotlight search clean. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.